I think that I have a challenge for myself today and the challenge is gonna be me trying to pick a girl up and maybe get her to like show me around Tainan. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Can I film? So this is the, the beef soup because I've heard it's like one of the best meals here in Taiwan. Good morning guys. And it's my Sihao. It's my fourth day on the trip around Taiwan. And today I'm in Tainan. Holy moly, I slept good because I went to a such a good hotel and I just had the best sleep of my life. Just ready to take on a day now and I think that I have a challenge for myself today. And the challenge is gonna be me trying to pick a girl up while I'm talking Mandarin and maybe get her to like show me around Tainan. But before that, I need to get some breakfast. I think that I should go to a traditional uh, restaurant here that, that sells fish noodles. Because I heard from one of my fans that like that specific place that I'm going to is like a really, really traditional and really, really like popular place here in Tainan. So I'm, I'm gonna go here in like 10 minutes and after that I'm gonna see if I can pick a girl up here. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Ah, uh, no, not really, but uh, oh, my shang, uh, what shang may? Uh, small, small, one, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I guess I got the famous fish noodles. It wasn't what I expected it to look like, but I guess, like, it probably tastes good. I don't know, but let's try it. It's actually really good. I actually thought it would taste more like fish, but it has like a good, got like a clean fish taste. Not like too much, not too little. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. It's not like a usual thing that, for example, us Danish people eat for breakfast. So kind of like shocked that a lot of people eat this like for breakfast or for lunch. But it's really good. Yeah, so I still need to make sure that I know that I'm on a mission because my brain is kind of like procrastinating this. I'm trying to think not to do it, but I know I have to. But my brain just doesn't want to because I know it's going to be awkward. As I just saw some girls back there, but I just thought like, nah, Anton, don't do it, don't do it. But like a thing that I'm also like pretty scared about here in Taiwan or in general Asia, I can't, I don't know what age. Like for example, I've talked with a lot of like older Taiwanese girls that were maybe like 30 or something. They look really beautiful and I thought like, okay, you're probably 20 or something like that. But when they say like, nah, I'm actually 30, I'm like, I'm always like, what the f But I don't know if it's also the other way around because I don't want to pick up like some 15 year old or something like that. That's, that's fucked up. <laughs> so I, I'm aiming for 20 year olds. Yeah, I hope I can do that. I'm on my way to Shennong Street. See if I can pick someone up there. But I can say in Mandarin is like Ni hao piao yang. So I'm just gonna say like Ni hao piao yang and then Shou yong wen Shou 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 yong wen ma And then we're gonna talk English or something Yeah, I don't know That dog must be the temple's protector It's like almost like 1pm right now and it's super super hot because I live in Denmark, I'm not used to this hot weather so I would say it's kind of like a challenge for me to just survive walking here and locking at the same time I'm sweating really hard right now <laughs> Alright, no luck there, no luck in finding girls there Where should I go next? Maybe to university? Nah, I probably can't film there, I found one I'm gonna try I just need to get over the street Hey, excuse me Excuse me Can I film? Oh, okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Damn. I don't want to be like disrespectful when I'm like filming somebody because I know that not everybody want to be filmed, so I don't know if I, if I should already ask, like in the start, like, do you want to be filmed before I ask any questions? But she said that she had to go back to work. One loss, one loss. Ah, let's hope I'm luckier next time. Okay, but while I was walking, like here, I actually saw a, um, 
Ooh, a cinnamon roll. Let's try that. Yo, um, Wu Shang Mei, this. Thank you. It's good. Okay. I hope it's good. It looks good. Mmm, that's good. And something that I didn't expect this to have is that it actually has like nuts in there. Good stuff, good stuff. It's not like too like sweet. It doesn't have like too much cinnamon and it doesn't have like too much like sugar. It's good, it's good, but it's not as good as like cinnamon or maybe like the, uh, the cinnamon rolls that I get at home. But uh, it's, it's still really good. So I just got into the Chikan Tower, but before I actually go further, a fan brought me some, I think it's Nai Cha. I've honestly gotten so many like gifts from fans, like I can't eat all of the food because it would just make me fat. It's, oh my God, uh, like I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I'm very thankful, but oh my God, it's just so much food. Let's see what this mysterious liquid is. Oh, yeah. That's some good Nai Cha. Some good sugary Nai Cha. What the Nai Cha? Alright, so I'm gonna go and look at the Penghu Academy first. And some interesting things that I didn't really like know. This place is a prime example of Chinese architecture because it's featuring wooden structure. Yeah, it features stone carvings and, and of course the traditional tiled roofs. Pretty interesting. Whoa. All right, but enough of that. Let's go up to the Fort Corinthia, the Chica Tower and Chican Tower and see so beautiful so one of the things that I could like reflect on like here uh, or like compare on to the Pinku Academy is that I can see like the red like wooden uh, architecture here the, the red wood it's also like it's a part of the Chinese architecture. And I don't know if I can get a good view on the roof here, but it should be like a combination of Western style architectic, arch architectures. I can't really get a good look on the roof of the roof. It's actually possible to go up. Yeah. I'm really like fascinated by, by all of the gods that you guys have here. And as I read, like this god is the god of literature, scholar, says. Alright, just found some nice fans. And we are gonna eat the uh, beef soup now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Getting guided again, it's nice. And I got some more of this, and it's actually not night cha, it's what? Watermelon drink. All right, this was pretty unpredictable, but we're gonna go and taste the beef soup now, and then we're gonna go to the Xiangmei Temple, which is the Orthodox of Luramen Xingmu Temple. It's the largest Meisu Temple, Matsu, Matsu Temple, and it's around 40 hectares of land. That's pretty big. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, so this is a beef needle, beef soup. The beef soup. And I'm pretty, pretty interested in tasting this soup because I've heard it's like one of the best meals here in Taiwan. So uh, let's go and try it. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so hard to use chopsticks. Oh. Got it here. I'm gonna taste it without any sauce first. Mm. 
pretty tender, pretty good. Now I'm gonna taste it with the sauce. Got a big one, a little bit of sauce on. Mm. That's super good, super henrau. And besides that, I also got some fried rice with beef. And this looks delicious, really. All right. Ooh. Oh my God, that was a hot meal, God damn. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready for that heat, but it's good. I just didn't get any of the beef in my mouth. So uh, let's try again. Super Henrau. All right, we are here. And honestly, it's like so spectacular, so big. I, I hope that I'm not like being disrespectful with filming at these places because I'm, I'm pretty like scared that I, it's like disrespectful. So. Yeah, I hope not that I'm filming something that I that I'm not like allowed to film. But this place is actually so crazy, and the two fans that I'm with that I'm with here, they actually haven't been here before. And I asked them on Google Translate like what they think about this place, and they also said like it's so big and so spectacular. And honestly, like I can agree. Oh my God, Jesus. Just all of the details that, that is here, that are here, is just, it's too much, it's too crazy. All right, so I just came back to my hotel and it was such a nice trip with my two friends they were so nice they actually bought me a bracelet because this is the sheep bracelet i think because they asked me like which year i was born i said 2003 and that was the sheep year they said chinese zodiac signs so they gave me this bracelet and they made like a ritual so they said that if i have this bracelet on me it will grant me luck that's so interesting and I'm, uh, I'm gonna take it on now. All right, it actually looks really pretty. I'm gonna keep this on. It has been so great being in Thailand today. It has been really, really fun. I'm also like really surprised about how cheap the food is here compared to, for example, Taipei. It's like, it's so much cheaper here. Like what's going on? I'm probably gonna eat like sushi later and I'm not gonna pay anything for it. So that's. It's gonna be nice because we're gonna eat like 50 pieces. <laughs> but I think it has been a really, really interesting day for me. A lot more like cultural day because I've explored a lot of like uh, some different like historical things here in Tainan. I think that has been really, really interesting for me. Um, and also I learned a bit myself, especially at the uh, fort, I'd say. The Chikan, uh, place the Chikan Tower I, I would say I learned the most and I know there are a lot more things that I could uh, see here in Tainan uh, historical wise but I just don't have the time but I would 100% come back here I hope you guys love this video I hope you I don't know also learned something from this video you probably didn't you probably already knew all of the stuff but yeah, I just wanted to say it has been a really, really interesting day for me today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.